Not really. We're we're. Um, I have a lot of confidence in the the three guys that uh, are going to be stepping right in there, and and actually Chad Moncure, a freshman who's been playing for us on all special teams, will be there. So we've got four guys that have played, four guys that are tough guys that that uh, know how to play that position. So. Um, it's going to be okay. We're going to miss Bra Braxton Amy as a person and as an inspiration and as a as a friend more than than anything else. And and, um, and of course he was a great football player too. But these guys, we can win with these guys. There's no no question. I think we are pretty deep in safety and and um, um, so we'll be able to get through the games just with the addition of uh, Trayvon Nixon being able to play in that position too. And we've got a you know. Um, Martel Strange is a backup corner, and he, he can play nickel or dime for us. So we've got some guys that that uh, we do have depth there, and we do have experience. Very seldom are you going to have four safeties that have played in a game and experienced you know, guys like that, especially two of being seniors. We'll see today. He's going to be running around, and we'll see how he is. Um, obviously, he would give anything to play. The swelling has gone down. Uh, we'll just see how he is today. Well, it's a big rivalry game. It's uh, it's uh, a lot of fun, and it's a chance for both universities, both towns, uh, cities, uh, football teams to show uh, sportsmanship. Something we never talk about anymore. You know, when I was growing up, uh, you always wanted to be a good sport, be a good sport always. You know, and and somehow through television or whatever, sportsmanship has taken a back seat to to acting like a big shot and. Uh, We've had really good sportsmanship with, between these two teams that I've been here, and I credit their players and uh, because uh, our players and their players mix together off the field, and um, and our, our friends may be off the field, but on the field, you know, we're going to play our very very best. We need to do that. I had text Braxton, you know, just told him I love him and whatnot, and he just texted me back. He was like, "Yeah, I love you too." And you know, it's your turn to uh, step up. You know, he told me he felt like you know, he showed me he showed me enough. He taught me well. So now it's just a lot of pressure on me, and I feel like I mean I have no choice. I mean I love him like a brother, so I feel like I can't let him down. He 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 always jokes around and say he looks up to me, but I mean I always felt like I was a young guy looking up to the older guys, and it's funny to hear that he looks up to me. I mean, we just gotta focus and put it behind us, knowing that it's a long season ahead of us and just practice hard every day. Rivals is rivals, you know how they always are, you know. It's tough, you just gotta go and compete. Yeah, we checked the film out. Uh, nothing that we have never seen before, so I think we'll be He's ready. He's a good quarterback, he, he run the ball, he seems very tough. I mean, but I think we'll do, do right, we'll handle it. I can't tell you how much we respect and admire Braxton, how much we're gonna miss him, and how much we love him, you know. We really do love that guy. He's a great guy, he's done a lot for this school and this team. All the kids just think the world of him. Um, so we can't replace Braxton as a person or as a player. Um, but the, the game doesn't exist. You understand? Houston, it's done. It's over. The only thing that matters is those guys up the road. And the only thing that matters is the week of preparation that's going to get us ready uh, to compete with those guys. Because if, if we're not willing to sacrifice during the week, um, we, can't, we can't protect those trophies and protect all the people we're trying to represent on Saturday. We come out here and do what we can do. Uh, we can play with anybody. Now, the game is going to be 50 50. You never know because they're going to bring their best game and they're a good football team. Um, but if we don't, we got to come out this week and prepare to win and then compete on Saturday. And then that's, that's how it needs to be. But last week does not exist to me. And it shouldn't exist, exist to these kids. We've made the corrections. We've gone in there. We've seen the way we can look, how bad we can look. And now we need to see how good we can look because that wasn't the football team that I've been working with for the last six months. It, it, it wasn't the guys that I've been working with each and every day. Saturday, I hope those guys are going to show up because I'm, I'm proud to represent those guys. It's always both, and emotional has something to do with it too. Um, so you got to fix all those things. But I know the guys I got. You know, I know the guys I got, and nobody else does, and they don't have to. That's why this is so, so much fun, you know, because there's a lot of people jumping off that bandwagon. But that's okay because it's all about, it's all about the people who believe the people who want to be a part of this, those are the people we represent, care for, and those are the people we're going to fight for this week.
So that, that's what it's about. We didn't show our true colors on, on Friday. I'm very disappointed in that, but that's okay. That's what that's what this week's about, and that's why it's so special to get this opportunity to, to play in the Battle of I-10 because it means a lot to me and it means a lot to a lot of people. And so, you know, I'm gonna fight hard to coach hard this week. My guys are gonna fight hard to perform for me. And God willing, we're gonna show our true colors on Saturday. It is, um, you know, it's a really fun week to look forward to. Um, you know, coming off a loss from this past weekend, we actually have, you know, a lot still to look forward to. Um, we have a whole season left in our next game after our, you know, first loss of the season in New Mexico State and. A big rivalry game. We always look forward to this, and everyone's, you know, I know not only for us but for them too. They're, you know, everyone's gonna be pump, really pumped up for it. It does. Um, we feel like it's um, kind of helps determine the rest of our season, um, whether we win or we lose this game. Um, you know, it's really um, builds a lot of pride uh, within ourselves on this game, being a rival game, and we know that every year it's um, it's a tough battle, and it's going to be won at the end of the game, and. Um, you know, um, really, the coaches have instilled in us that you know it doesn't matter um, who is a better team or whatever. It's whoever shows up and plays the best on Saturday who's going to win the game. You know, there's get-togethers here and there where, where everyone sees each other, and you know, basketball events when New Mexico State plays UTEP. You know, a lot of the guys, whether it's here or there, you know, football players always travel to see the game. So, um, you know, we've built friend friendships between players, uh, but when it comes to game time, we're not friends. You know, you really make sure that. Um, you know, we play with, we, we represent our school and represent who we are, and we don't want to give any, um, you know, bad vibes towards anyone else with our, um, with our, uh, the way we play and things like that. And um, he's not going to let us get away with anything that shouldn't be um, gotten away with, and he's going to make sure to take care of all the bad things. They're really athletic, really, um, really solid in their secondary. Um, they're, they play really hard, and they're, they seem to really know what they got going on defense. Um, it's their second year playing this defense, and um, I feel like they, um, you know, have made large strides in improving from where they were at last year. So they um, looked like a pretty, pretty solid unit. It mean a lot. You know, he's, you know, a, a big driver of our offense, and um, we weren't expecting this to happen with him being out. And he's a really good athlete. And you know, really, since the games he's been sitting out, we've had an actual productive rushing offense, especially the first game. But, you know, the guys that we have to fill his role have really stepped up and played their position well, and getting him back would be an extra boost to our offense. Uh, I mean, I'm just pretty confident feeling how my knee feels today. It feels a lot better than Saturday, so hopefully I'll be able to cut on it tomorrow. Take a day off, because the turf, I don't want me to run on a hard surface, so I'm wait till tomorrow to be on grass. I'm actually going to the grass to make some uh, cuts on the grass, doing my drills on the grass rather than the turf. Um, he was almost my best man, but he played for NMSU, so I had to take him up on my best man list. <laughs> but yeah, he was one of the groomsmen. Yeah, actually, my calf's regular size now, and my knee's a little still, my knee's a little still swollen, but it's one down too. I was real frustrated watching us lose to Houston after we played him last year. I was pretty confident we were going to pull another upset, but it didn't end up that way, so just watching that game was real frustrating. Football, I've been hit all my life, so really not much for me. I mean, it's big. It's our rivalry game of the year. I mean, it's a game we can't lose. So, I'm trying to do everything to get back out there and help this team win.